Hey everybody, Rebecca back for another episode of the Monday Mr. Money Mustache Motivation. If you are unfamiliar, on Mondays on my channel, I like to read a blog post from the popular FIRE blogger, Mr. Money Mustache. FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. That is what I'm trying to do here on my channel. So if you have not subscribed yet, scroll down a little bit, click that subscribe button and follow me on my journey to reach financial independence. Today's blog post is a doozy, guys. This is his most famous blog post. This is the one that really blew up and got him to be so well known in the FIRE community. So we'll get to this one in just a second. Just a couple of channel updates in general. I had someone request that I show more of my dogs in the video. So here I am sitting in my living room floor to film this video so that I can have my dog in the background. That's Rollo, my Irish wolfhound. He is uh, he's a big guy, but he's, he's none too exciting. He just tends to lay about like that all day. But if y'all wanted to see more dog, then there he is. Also, I mentioned in one of my recent videos with everything that is going on with world events right now and me working in healthcare like I do, that I may have the opportunity for some overtime, and that is true. By the time y'all see this video, um, this goes up on Monday, so I work 12 hour shifts and I work third shift for the vast majority of my hours. And I'm actually working tonight, Tuesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, all 12 hour shifts this week coming up. So I'm going to try to batch film as many of these as I can. Let's jump into this article. This one is titled, The Shockingly Simple Math Behind Early Retirement. As always, the link to this blog post will be in the description box below. And at the end of this video, I will um, link to my playlist of all the Mr. Money Mustache videos I've done if you would like to learn more from Mr. Money Mustache. This blog post is from January 13th, 2012. Written a long time ago, but y'all, I think it still applies just as much today as when it was written. Here at Mr. Money Mustache, we talk about all sorts of fancy stuff like investment fundamentals, lifestyle changes that save you money, entrepreneurial ideas that help you make money, and philosophy that allows you to make these changes a positive thing instead of a sacrifice. In addition, the internet presents us with retirement calculators, competing opinions from a million financial advisors and financial doomsayers, unpredictable inflation, and a wide distribution of income and spending patterns between readers. I reviewed in my own path to age 30 retirement in A Brief History of the Stash. Then I did a hypothetical calculation using two average teacher salaries to show how long it would take them to retire in the race to retirement revisited. And he's got hyperlinks in this blog post to these other blog posts that he's done. So if y'all wanna take a look at those in particular, then down in the description, click the link to this blog post and you can see those links to his other posts that he's made. Because of this torrent of information, people tend to become overwhelmed and say things like, quote, yeah, good for you, Mr. Money Mustache, but how can I possibly know when I'll have enough to retire myself with a completely different lifestyle, end quote? Well, I have a surprise for you. It turns out that when it boils right down to it, your time to reach retirement depends on one factor, your savings rate as a percentage of your take-home pay. If you wanna break it down just a bit further, your savings rate is determined entirely by these two things. How much you take home each year and how much you can live on. While the numbers themselves are quite intuitive and easy to figure out, the relationship between these two numbers is a bit surprising. If you are spending 100% or more of your income, you will never be prepared to retire unless someone else is doing the saving for you. Wealthy parents, social security, pension fund, etc. So your work career will be infinite. If you are spending 0% of your income, you live for free somehow and can maintain this after retirement, you can retire right now. So your working career can be zero. In between, there are some very interesting considerations. As soon as you start saving and investing your money, it starts earning money all by itself. Then the earnings on those earnings start earning their own money. It can quickly become a runaway exponential snowball of income. That is how compound interest works, people. <laughs> as soon as this income is enough to pay for your living expenses while leaving enough of the gains invested each year to keep up with inflation, you are ready to retire. 
If you drew this savings rate story into a graph, it would not be a straight line. It would be a nice curved exponential graph like this. I'm gonna try to show you guys this here just briefly. And again, link to this article is down below. Click on it and it will take you to this calculator as well. Just in case y'all wanna go directly to this graph. Um, this is the retirement calculator on networthify.com. There you go. As you can see, the higher your savings rate, then the fewer your years to retirement. If you save a reasonable percentage of your take home pay, say like 50%, I like how he considers that reasonable. Most people scoff at trying to save 20% to their 401k, right? <laughs> anyway, continuing on. If you save a reasonable percentage of your take home pay, like 50%, and live on the remaining 50%, you'll be ready to rock, AKA financially independent in a reasonable number of years, about 16 according to this chart and a more detailed spreadsheet I just made for myself to recreate the equation that generated the graph. So let's take the graph above and make it even simpler. I'll make some conservative assumptions for you and you can just focus on saving the biggest percentage of your take home pay that you can. The table below will tell you a nice ballpark figure of how many years it will take you to become financially independent. Assumptions, you can earn 5% investment returns after inflation during your saving years. You'll live off the 4% safe, safe withdrawal rate after retirement with some flexibility in your spending during recessions. You want your stash to last forever. You'll only be touching the gains since this income may be sustaining you for 70 years or so. Just think of this assumption as a nice generous safety margin. Here's how many years you will have to work for a range of possible savings rates starting from a net worth of zero. Again, I'll try to show this to you guys here. I hope y'all can see that okay. But basically, the more you save, then the faster you'll become financially independent. It's not rocket science. It's the simple math behind early retirement. It's quite amazing, especially at the less mustachian end of the spectrum. A middle class family with a 50K take home pay who saves 10% of their income, 5K, is actually better than average these days, but unfortunately better than average is still pretty bad since they are on track for having to work for 51 years. But simply cutting cable TV and a few lattes would instantly boost their savings to 15%, allowing them to retire eight years earlier. Are cable TV and Starbucks worth having two income earners each work an extra eight years for? The most important thing to note is that cutting your spending rate is much more powerful than increasing your income. The reason is that every permanent drop in your spending has a double effect. It increases the amount of money you have left over to save each month, and it permanently decreases the amount you'll need every month for the rest of your life. Guys, furthermore, every dollar that you can cut from your budget is a full dollar that you can use to save and invest every month. If you get a rate of pay increase at work. That's great, definitely work towards that. But remember, every extra dollar you earn through a W-2 job is gonna be taxed. Every dollar you can cut from your budget is a full dollar that you get to keep and utilize more optimally. So your lifetime passive income goes up due to having a larger investment nest egg and it more easily meets your needs because you've developed more skills at living efficiently and thus you need less. If you wanna retire within 10 years, the formula is right there in front of you. Simply live on 35% of your take home pay, which is approximately what I did without even realizing it during my own younger years. The only reason mustachians will remain a rare breed is because this article will never appear in USA Today. Or if it does, people will be too busy complaining about how it can't be done rather than figuring out how to do it. Key difference between people in the fire movement and the rest of the world. People in the fire movement, we are optimists and we are problem solvers. And people like me in the fire movement, go ahead and tell me I can't do something and that will be the only motivation that I need to make it happen. <laughs> so keep reading since this blog is all about making financial independence happen. Ain't that the truth? So if I had to pick one single article of Mr. Money Mustache that is my favorite, it would probably be this one, guys. This 
this is the basic premise behind financial independence retire early the whole premise behind how the fire movement works my goal is to create a money-making machine for me that will pay for my living expenses that's essentially what you're doing when you are choosing to reduce your expenses increase your income and invest the difference that that's really all there is to it in this fire movement. It's all math. So guys, this is an excellent, excellent reminder, especially in the current world situation that we're in right now. There is a lot of fear in the market right now, but when it comes right down to it, guys, all of this is just math. And we as humans and imperfect as we are attach all different sorts of emotions to money and the math behind early retirement and we're going to get through the world crisis and just purely looking at the fundamentals of this this is a market buying opportunity when it comes right down to it so if you can turn off the news if you can get past all of the fear that's out there right now and realize that this is a buying opportunity it's a good chance to get into the market we've had one of the biggest run-ups in the market in u.s history in recent years for years people have been saying the market's too high don't get in right now it's all-time highs it's a waste of money right now they've been saying that for years they've been saying for years a recession is coming well I wish the circumstances were different on how it happened for sure, but here it is guys, it's here. The time to really get serious about saving money and investing is now. I think that I will just leave this posting at that. Y'all comment below what you enjoyed most about this post from Mr. Money Mustache. And if you want to see more from him, again, this article is linked in the description box below. And I will link at the end of this video, my playlist of all of my other Mr. Money Mustache videos. I will see y'all next Monday for the next episode. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.